This is very important time because we are spending in the in the era of corona and a lot of fear. So, but as a scientist, we like to enlighten you that this is the time we have to we have to come with the research, and that's why I have chosen a topic to discuss with you what is called um, nanoscopy and corona. I will just introduce what are the coronaviruses different types, how it is important to understand the structure and then what are the various structures observed using various types of microscope. The structure, looking at the structure only you can understand how we can rectify, how we can develop a vaccine or a medicine or how what are the precautions can be taken. These are the steps, scientific steps I like to discuss with you. The coronavirus was first discovered in 1930 and when it was discovered in a domesticated chicken. Then around 30 years after that, human coronaviruses were discovered in 1960s where in the form of common cold. So these human coronaviruses have been identified as a SARC cough in 2003, which is again originated from China. And there are so many different versions and then MERS also COV in 2012. And this is SARV COV2 in 2019. So this most of them are having respiratory tract infection. So this invisible enemy, we have to unmask them. That is how to do that. It's invisible. Our naked eyes cannot see that. So we take the help of one of the advanced techniques is electron microscope imaging. This third in the series is very aggressive and very lethal. Aggressive I means that it is ready to attack and the lethal I mean it is sufficiently deadly. So very very harmful. So these two characteristics makes us more and more alert and we need to understand this directly. What happens this directly initially it affects the respiratory system that is lungs but subsequently it also affects the hearts and the liver. There is small difference between the viruses in the coronavirus family and in the genome. That is, there are five nucleotides differences between the three types of viruses which I, which I mentioned to you. Corona is an aura of plasma that surrounds the sun. From that it originates. That means the sun, the halo region, this is called actually corona. It is a that in Latin word that is corona, which means it is crowned. That means the each one, each projected one is having a crown like appearance. So as you know, the shape is well depicted, but I'll show you actually how microscopy, how actual image shows on that. But there's a book by Springer, it's called Coronaviruses in 2015, where it tells exactly about the shape, the number of spikes, the number of the spikes, then the corona we are still in the crown, the size of the crown, and what is the diameter, all this thing is important. And there's a very good review in actually viral in 2016 that is the book is in 2015 that review is 2016 which tells that if you do cryo electron microscopy you can reveal the structures see this particular example that how the spikes are originating how what is the size of the spike what it can catch how, how is the monomers uh, how is how is the spikes are uh, trying to catch hold of the other uh, uh, emitters so this is possible if you want to look at the viruses using microscope. So this new coronavirus under microscope, how does it look? I will show you a number of photographs. They are pseudo colored to make you understand. The diameter or the full size is around 125 nanometer. That means the each one is around and the minimum maximum is 20 to 200 nanometer. This is all studied using cryo electron tomography or cryo electron microscopy basically. It has got it has got a tremendous structures. It has very very simple and very systematic order structure. It has got it has got a spike um, a glycoprotein in the outer wall, which is like a crown, which is called a spike glycoprotein, and then it has got small small spike which are actually is uh, hematoglutin and 
uh, and there are different proteins which are then the surfaces is M protein, E protein and all this is actually an envelope. What is the inside? Inside is RNA or N protein or the DNA is the main thing. So this simple structure of this virus is very very schematically shown. The main thing is actually is the spike glucoprotein. What is the size of that? If the size is same as the receptor that is human body, then it will catch into it. So basically this SARS cov 2 has the resist the size of that crown exactly matching with human receptor. So size is very important factor of this crown which is observed in electron microscope. What is the inside diameter? This all is possible using cryo microscopy, cryo electron microscopy. This is the first, this is the colored image which is using the scanning electron microscope. The round gold objects seen here are actually the coronavirus that is called uh, SARS CoV 2. Then you want to see the details how it is inside the body. This, this structures look that inside the body, that is inside the medium. You can see the spikes, and this is a cross section, this is a projection on the team. This is the transmission electron microscopy image of the virus which is inside the body. If you look at the details and try to understand. In, in the TM, you can see this protein makes a double layer that is in very in envelope. And once it forms a good receptor, a very exact hostile environment, a hostile base, then the DNA RNA comes out from that and it's multi start multiplying with the body it is it is residing on. Basically, if you look at the TM picture and then you understand that this similar virus is also is present and originated from actually bat. So this bat, they, they have tried to match the exact structure and try to find it out that this is this 88 to 98 percent of the structures exactly matches with the bat. And how it transmit? It takes a third body. It doesn't have a life as you know. So before that I like to just say that there is a difference, basic difference between bacteria and the virus is that bacteria has got a life whereas the virus doesn't have a life. It requires a life body to be active and to multiply. So one of the factor while it is transmitting like a wildfire or even faster than that in all over the world because it takes and help of actually different body and bacteria is one of them. So this RNA DNA structure which is there inside these are just basically present in generally in uh, in all the uh, all the bats and other elements but people have found it out that this doesn't happen in the china they are not they are not using the bats as of now in that in their market to so bats was ruled out so there is a third animal which which actually intermediate animal between the human and the bat which takes into account and that is still not found it out so basically if you look at the structure this is the example of a throat in our throat there are so many fibrous <coughs> bodies so those fibrous bodies get affected or get attached with the corona viruses so basically the structure if you look at the dynamic structure this dynamic structure give us that how the crowns are distributed all in the place and these crowns are exactly matching with the human edifices where they will match each other and try to uh, act that how this thing can be matching each other like one crown can match exactly if it is not small if it is small it will not match it will keep on skipping if they exactly match then it will hold that and pull inside the body this is how the coronavirus is exactly matching that is the size match of, of our uh, receptor on our throat or the nasal system exactly matching with the coronavirus crown in the transmission electron microscopy the cells infected with SARS-CoV-2 shows that virus particles are intercellular vesicles and their surfaces can also grow up to 500 nanometer. So this form 200 to 500 means is growing. So what happened? This infection is keep on growing. So inside the body, inside the lungs, it goes and goes actually in increase in size. So there are so many increasing size so lungs is getting filled with so many so many viruses particles and slowly it cannot pump the way 
oxygen is supposed to be inhaled and carbon dioxide to be inhaled. So this pumping device has been stopped because so many things are packed inside the balloon. So this particular event can be controlled and stopped if we actually understand the structure, if you can break the structure. So those understanding are, are, are in the process. So basically, if you want to look at the boundary, the seal, all this is taken care. If you look at the images, they are explained very nicely and how they each one actually escape and they agglomerate and they form together and they and they start. So these images are pseudo colored. These golden color images are the coronaviruses, which are more or less spherical and they have in the if you magnify, you see the crown coming out and the walls are also seen very nicely. There are very solid walls which are which generally doesn't allow the RNA DNA to come out until a hostile atmosphere. So this keeps on happening uh, in all through the process from your nasal area to the lungs. So these images are explained that how each one of them, in each passage, some of the nasal passage, then throat, then going to lungs, how each one of them is going to act and multiply. These images will help us to form that uh, how the vaccines can be developed and this whole thing is going to excite uh, excite us to find out as soon as possible uh, the, the remedies the vaccines and i hope and we are all people are working on to it and i hope it will solve very fast and with all of us will come out of it and and lead a very happy life thank you